Hello, my name is Tomasz Pożytek and in this video I want to show you how you can use a trigger that we have in Microsoft Teams stack of actions in Power Automate to actually trigger a process once you add a new user to Teams. The trigger is called when a new team member is added and it is highly helpful when you want to increase and automate as well the governance in Microsoft Teams. The scenario I want to cover while showing how this trigger works is the one that imagine we have a team that is focused on HR cases or maybe administration or maybe financial or whichever else and now this team has its private channels and we don't want actually to add any employee to this private channel but we would like to automate it somehow so that once we add a new team member to the channel, to the general channel inside a team, we would like them, we would like to send them a list of rules, maybe an NDA to sign, so that we actually get an automated information from them if they acknowledge these rules and comply, or maybe not. And then once they do acknowledge, once they do confirm that they have read those rules, we would like them to be automatically added to this private channel without actually any further activity from the administrator side. Now, how we can do that? That's pretty easy. First, we need to use the new trigger that we have in Microsoft Teams that is called, as I said, when a new team member is added. This trigger actually, you need to configure to point to which teams it has to like listen. So once you add a new team member to this specific team, then this flow will be triggered. Now, the second thing is that this action only returns information that is the user ID. So it will not return you any information about the channel number, sorry, channel ID or the team's ID. It only returns information about the ID of the user that has been added. Now, what I'm going to do as well is now once this user is added, again, note I'm as well using as well using this try catch pattern so that if there is anything going wrong with this automated scenario, then the user is going to be posted an adaptive card saying that, hey, there has been an error pro during processing of your decision. So just contact us directly via the email. But let's assume everything goes well, all right? So first, I'm, I'm acquiring information about the user that has been added. So that's the only outcome from the trigger action. And then actually, I'm posting that user a private adaptive card using the, as well, quite a new action called post an adaptive card to a Teams user and wait for the response. The adaptive card that is going to be sent is like this. So it has information why we need this uh, acknowledgement, why we need this confirmation, some list of rules. That's just a lorem ipsum for this, for this uh, example. And then we also ask the user to retype their name and last name. And finally, to either confirm or decline. So to express the decision. Well, we should let them to uh, to as well decline this uh, this uh, acceptance of the rules and therefore not to add them to private channel. Now, what is important to actually get this information back from the adaptive card is definition of the ID. So the ID AC username is going to be one of the outcomes of this action that I will be able to get so that I will be able as well to get the value of the of the field that the user is going to type in. Plus, both buttons also have to have the ID defined. So I will be able as well to make a condition, a condition based on the submitted action ID. So this is the, the outcome that is called, uh, let me show you here, the submit action ID. And this is actually, if this is AC conf confirm, then I'm calling Graph API that is in beta version right now to add a new member to the private channel. So this is the expression you have to use. And then I'm also posting them a confirmation adaptive card that looks like this. So the welcome message. 
In case they decline, I'm sending them this information, still with a button allowing them to contact HR directly and be added on behalf of the non on just a team's administrator or, or the team's member, a team's owner to simply, simply be added manually to his private channel. Okay, so this is it. And then as I said, if there is anything wrong in this whole process, then the flow is going to send this uh, error warning, error message adaptive card as well to the user. One last thing that you have to be aware if you'd like to follow is exactly the same scenario is that if you want to add a user to a private or yeah to the, to the private channel, then you need to have an application in your graph, uh, sorry, in your Azure AD defined that has these three permissions uh, on behalf of the application, sorry, on the, on the application type. So first is a channel member, read, write all. Second one is directory, read, write all. And third one is the group, read, write all. Of course, you can, you can grant them on a delegated level, but you know, when speaking about the Power Automate, it's much, much, much more easier to actually trigger those actions uh, from the application uh, authorization type. So simply you need to define the active directory or auth and then provide all the information that is required to actually configure this, this authorization. And that's it. So let me show you how it works. First, I have my team, HR, there is a confidential channel. And now I want to add a new member that is called John Researcher. And that's it. Note that sometimes it takes a little of time before this workflow is actually triggered. Um, I counted that once it took like half an hour before it was triggered. I have no idea why. So let me now navigate back to my Power Automate. All right, so it has been triggered and let me show you how it now works. So it went already to the try scope and I believe it has already assigned the card to uh, my John researcher employee. So let me jump over. Okay, so right now, as I can see, there is this adaptive card sent with, uh, with rules that the user has to approve. So I will now type my name and last name and I say, I confirm. Right now, what the flow is doing is simply um, processing this card. The card has been closed with this information. Thank you for the decision. And I have as well received the second one with this confirmation have been added and the button to go to the channel. So, well, let's go. And well, and, and here I am. Okay, so it took a little while, but here I am in the conversational channel. John Researcher has now an access. So with this very simple flow, you can actually automate who and under which circumstances you want to grant an access to your most confidential and private information inside your Microsoft Teams. Okay, but that's not it. Very soon, um, this month, still this month, we will be given a new trigger for Power Automate to help you in governance in my, of Microsoft Teams that is going to be called for a selected message. With this trigger, you will be able actually to create Power Automates that will be triggered once a user selects a message and chooses the uh, Power Automate that you have created. And for example, you'll be able then to receive information if the uh, message is abusive or if the user wants to report the message or maybe they want to delete them or something else. That's up to you. So stay tuned. The video about that is right on the way. I hope to post it very soon. If, however, you have any questions to this topic or to any other topic, simply write them down in the, uh, in the, con uh, sorry, in the comments below the video and subscribe, thumbs up and until next time. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.